So tonight, the nation bracing for the release of the body cam video, including right here in Sacramento. CBS 13 Steve Large is downtown with how Nichols' hometown is preparing. Steve. Well, as you mentioned there, Tony, that we've all been told to brace for the very worst comparisons, that this video will show something similar to what we saw with George Floyd and Rodney King. I had the opportunity to talk to one of Tyree Nichols' friends who can't believe this is happening. Loving, caring, very tall. Harry Silva remembers Tyree Nichols as a sensitive soul. Very bright light, yeah. The pair were skaters growing up in Sacramento. Silva helped shoot these skateboard videos of Nichols when the two were teens. Now, a decade later, a body cam video is set to be released, showing the brutal beating by now fired officers facing charges, including a count of murder for the police confrontation that allegedly left Nichols dead. Silva does not want to see it. I would prefer not to. I don't think he would want me to see it. Breaks my heart on a number of levels, Steve. Number one, a young man who uh, spent a significant amount of his life right with us as a neighbor in Sacramento. He has deep Sacramento uh, roots, as you know. Mark T. Harris is co-founder of the Law Enforcement Accountability Directive and an attorney for the Benjamin Crump law firm that represents Nichols' family. I asked Harris about the Memphis police strategy releasing the body cam video after announcing the firing and criminal charges against the officers. I think that, quite honestly, it was shrewd on the part of the city. None of us wants to see rioting and further violence, uh, destruction. Nichols was initially pulled over for a traffic stop before he ran from police and was caught and beaten. The body cam video will show those final moments between Tyree Nichols' life and death. It's already leading to public outrage and for family and friends, a deeply personal loss. He was honestly just such an amazing guy that he was uh, truly just, you know, <laughs> just... Yeah, it's amazing. Silva is one of the friends who have put together a memorial on Monday at Regency Skate Park where they all gathered and met each other a decade ago. So we know that's happening Monday. What we still do not know, what kind of call for action will there be tomorrow or into the weekend after this body camera video is released?